What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, you guys, day in the life, just um, behind the scenes, building a funnel for a client. Um, shout out to Andrea, top producer, kicking ass, been doing real estate for, for years now in the Cleveland, Ohio area. So she's just crushing it, built, built, a, built a huge, huge audience and huge network um, offline. But now as we go to online, as we go now into social media marketing and more like social media targeting, right, with ads, it's all about you guys getting people to click. And, and, and whether it's ads or organic, you know, if you're in the real estate space and just, just overall business, if you're out there capturing leads, right, you're in the client services business, you're, you're trying to build an audience and get the attention of, of certain people, whether that's buyers and sellers, if you're in the real estate space or any other space, right, you're getting, you're, 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 you're giving value, sharing your knowledge, sharing your business, sharing your products and services, and, and hopefully trying to build something out of it, right? Where we're at today with the internet, where, where we've always been with the internet, but where, where and where we've always been with social media, the most successful ones are getting you to click. Whether you're watching this video on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, whatever, the audience, the front end is is the audience. The front end is the platform, is social media. But the back end, getting someone to click and come into your back end, no pun intended, right? That's what it's all about is getting a percentage of these folks to, to, to actually click. And so I want, what I wanted to do is I was just day in the life, just building a funnel for a client, a real estate agent. She's out there marketing a specific listing, a property for sale. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to capture a ton of leads on social media. Okay. This is, this is what the market is doing. And, and this is in the real estate space, right? This is in the real estate space, but but I truly believe it's in it's in every space, every space. We, we you you need a link. You need a link that people can click on, right? And and that link, there's so much more that goes into that link, but that link you need to own. That link you need to be tracking. That link um needs to be taking people to a to a capture page, which I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I built, what I just put together for for a top producing real estate agent. Um, if you wanna if you want me to help you like this, if you want me to show you how to do it yourself, like let me know reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you if you're in the real estate space and you're really trying to build a brand on social media, but more like trying to trying to build a brand locally. That's what I coach, right? How do we get the attention of our local audience? That's our local our local targeting, right? And that happens with Facebook ads. As, as agents go out there and post their listings, as they go out there and post their open houses, all everyone's doing is just throwing spaghetti against the wall. Yes, you have a handful of people that 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 follow you, that know you and trust you and do business with you, your past clients, your uncles, your aunts. Yes, those are a, a make up a, a, a very few percent on your Facebook profile, right? As far as people following your friends. But as you scale your friend count up, you guys, as you get to the thousands and thousands of friends, it doesn't matter what platform it is. When we post our content, this open house. It's being seen by 10 people who don't even live in that area. And this is a Facebook group of 4.5 thousand. And I can see the 10 posts. I can see the insights because this is my group, right? I'm the admin of this group. So it's like, dude, look at that engagement. It reached 10 people. I'm one of them. I'm in California. This property is in freaking – Um. We're going back to that post. Every post is the same. I could just work off of any of these posts, but let's go back to back to bills. It's like, dude, like like this right here, 12 people, it reached 12 people. This is typically how 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 most real estate agents post their listings, how they post their listings, how they post their open houses. And I'm going to show you a simple tweak, tweak, you guys. So stay with me. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. If you're following me here on Facebook, stay in touch because this is the basics. This is how you capture a ton of leads online, right? That, shout out to Bill, but, but that, that's not how you do it. That, that's not how you do it, but I'm going to show you a little tweak. I'm going to show you the little change that we need to be making to the, to the text of our post. And it doesn't matter if it's organic like this, right? God knows he's posting it on his business page. He's posting that, that listing on his, on his personal profile. He's posting that listing on Instagram, on LinkedIn, He's posting that listing over here in Facebook groups. He's he's in my Facebook group right here, and he's posting his listing, right? That's what most people call social media marketing, and that's not. That's not, you guys. But let's really dive into the text, and 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 I'm gonna show you what I put together for for Andrea. Okay, so 
it's this it's this basic you guys it's 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 this of a little tweak and and here here it is it's the call to action so everyone always has the right content i i truly believe you guys write the best stuff man i'm telling you the the, the bullet points the emojis like that shit looks amazing right you you guys kudos to you guys you guys always get that part right but it's the call to action that we're missing it's the call to action 99.9999% and i tell this story every single day the 5000 friends that follow that that i have on facebook on my personal profile the 5000 friends are agents they're not fr they're not family they're not friends from high school they're not my uncle aunt it's not my brother that's my friend on facebook no dude 5000 real estate agents and it's been that way since 2017 I'll unfriend a few, a few will unfriend me, and I'll just replenish and get back to 5,000. I'll always come to my personal profile. You'll always see it at 5,000, right? I and, and every single one is an agent. So, so if you can imagine over the past few years how many posts I've seen. So that's why when, when I try to give advice to, to agents, I'm like, dude, do you understand? I've seen tens of thousands of these pages. Like we're not just talking about the seven people in your office and your broker is the shit in your city and, you, and, and you're being coached by him and you're believing everything he's telling you. No, dude, like I've seen this by the hundreds of thousands at this point, right? Where it's the same typical post and the same typical call to action, right? This is not the call to action. No one's calling. No one's calling, Bill, right? No one's calling. Not, not off of this marketing, right? Not off of this marketing. Because again, as we scale our friend count up, you guys, majority of our friends don't even live in the area. That's why I always, I always say it's like, dude, those of you that are watching this video right now, comment below if you're in San Diego. Not one of you, especially if you're watching this on Facebook. Well, if you're watching this on Facebook and YouTube, that's where this video is going, Facebook and YouTube. Not one of you live in San Diego. Not one of you. So if I was promoting my listing in an open house and posting it on social media, not one of you that follow me are on are, are, are living in San Diego, nor are you moving to San Diego, right? And that's how it is vice versa, you guys. So when, when I'm seeing – shout out to Bill – but when I'm seeing his open house, it's like, dude, and, and I'm one of his 1,900 friends. I'm one of his 3,900 friends, right? Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, it's all the same, dude. Majority of us don't live in that area. So so rather than rather – than, here's the little tweak, you guys, two tweaks, two tweaks. Tweak number one, this all text, the image, all that stuff is fine. All that stuff is fine. But but one one tweak is rather than just blasting it all over these damn platforms, run a Facebook ad. Bill, run a Facebook ad, bro. Run a Facebook ad. Target your local area, run a Facebook ad, run an Instagram ad, and brand the hell out of that property in that local area. People that live in Dearborn are more likely to come physically to that open house than people like me across the country who are seeing this post. All 12 of us. Right. It's like, dude, like we don't live in that area, bro. Like, 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 so, so, so tweak number one, same text, same image and everything. Just run a Facebook ad, man. Learn how to get the attention of your local audience. That's number, number one. Here's number two. Here's number two. After seeing tens of thousands of business, of pages right, of posts, right? Agents following real estate agents here on Facebook specifically, right? 99.999% of the, well, I'll just say 99, 99. And then I'll tell you what the 1% is. 99% of the time, that's the call to action. It's a phone number or an email. 99% of the time, dude. And I'm talking about after seeing tens of thousands of real estate posts, listings and open houses, right? Now, now this ain't about the property going fast and depending because your market is on fire and freaking homes are going under under contract in freaking nine nine hours and you got freaking 17 people who freaking who 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 put in an offer. We're not talking about those anomalies and, and the way the market has been weird over the the past you know several months. We're just I'm just kind of giving you a broad, a broad, a broad strategy here. A broad strategy. How can we capture leads in our local area? That's what this is all about, dude. How can I post this and get the attention of that audience in Dearborn? Number one, Facebook ad. Number two, this call to action. That's not the call to action. So again, 99% of the time, I'll see a phone number or I'll see an email. No one's calling, bro, right? No one's calling. So, so if it was an ad, number one, if it was an ad, thousands of people in Dearborn would be seeing this post right now. And then number two, rather than this being the phone number, you would have put or I would have put or we would have put something like click here for all the details, or because it was an ad, it would it would be actually learn more down here. So you you'd see a learn more button when you see when you run Facebook ads, you have a learn more button down here, right? So if you go through the newsfeed, like let me show you guys. 
if I just if I just go through the news feed, right, and I see a sponsored ad, I see a Facebook sponsored ad, I'll see a learn more button. So right here, sponsored. This is a Facebook ad. There's the learn more button. Right. So on the post, on the post, I would have a learn more button. So down here in the call to action, it would say click learn more for all the details. Or I could have put the link there as well. Click here to learn more, but it'll still it'll still have the learn more button, right? But the point is, man, number two, number two, the call to action becomes a click. Click learn more for all the details. When I click, I would have came straight to a single page. One single page. Shout out to Andrea. I'm not done with this page. It's a simple, simple page. That image, I know it's freaking pixelated. That image, I'm, I'm waiting on another image, so I'm not done with this just yet. But but, but that's uh, that's just such an eyesore. That photo, I need it to be crystal, crystal clear in the background. But when you click the button, it'll bring you straight to this. This is the living room. And, and that's a simple opt-in page, you guys. That right there, that right there, you guys, is as basic as it needs to be that basic, a simple page over here. There's nothing like that, right? So when you can run this as a Facebook ad, when you can provide a link, a simple landing page, not, and let's go to these other ones too. Here's what I want to show you. So, so 99% of the time that, that, that's the call to action, right? A phone number or an email, the 1%, the 1%, let's see, actually, that's the same bill. The 1%, would actually post a listing or, or a link, I should say, a link like another open house. Again, just phone number, just listed. Let's see if this one provided a link. See, no link, just phone number for showing. It's like, dude, it reached one person. I'm the only person. This is in Pomona. It's like, dude, I'm like, I don't even like, like, we're not even the same state. You know, like, and this is what, this is called, this is what people are calling social media marketing, you guys. But I'm trying to show you what, what, see, so everyone puts their phone number, right? But whenever a link is shared, I wanted to show you. So look, there's all the text and look, okay, so this is my point. Look, man, look. So, so again, Lene, good Good con, good text, right? Good text, the content, good good text, but the call to action again, the phone number, the email, and then and then here's her website. So as I click, that's not a website that she owns because that's her broker's William Strew, right? That's her website, but that's William Strew's domain. So she's just you know promoting William Strew's domain when she should be promoting her domain, right? So, so that that's what I see typically. The, well, one percent of the time, ninety nine percent of the time, it's the damn phone number and the email. But, but, but over here, if I ever do see a link, that's what I see ten out of ten times. Is that most real estate agents are just simply posting their 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 exp site, their Keller Williams site, their Coldwell website, their William Strew website. When it's like, dude, that that's not what you want to be posting. Um, again, moving forward, moving forward. If you're really trying to make this social media thing work, and you're really trying to build a, a build an audience, and especially target your local area, if you're trying to farm a few zip codes in your backyard, this is how you want to be doing it, man. This needs to be a, an ad. We need to be targeting that local area. Um, and then and then number two, rather than send them to your fancy website, and, and in this case, the fancy website doesn't even work. That's another, another. Imagine if that was an ad, and she was running ads to that link. It's like you don't want to be doing that. So, so you got to be again. If I clicked, this was Andrea. I click. I'm coming straight to this one page, right? Straight to this one page. Few bullet points on the property, and I'm opting in. Here's what that looks like: name, email, phone number. Send me the details. When they opt in, Andrea gets a notification right away. Hey, a new lead came in, and then that lead lands on page two. Thank you for your interest. This is thank you for your interest in three two two Nicole Lane. Here she's on video, and let me play. Let me play this video for you. Thank you so much for inquiring in regards to three two two Nicole here in Sagamore Hills. Now, what I'm going to be sending you is an information sheet to give you all the details about the house, telling you about all the updates. It's like two ranches on top of each other, plus a gorgeous 
walk out lower level that you're just not going to believe and make sure you check out the photos i'll be sending you the house has been updated all the appliances stay want to make sure you get those details in writing because if you have any questions you can always reach out to me i'm andrea gould and the listing agent and one of howard hannah's greatest realtors so definitely give me a call and continue to check your emails just as i get listings in the areas i will be reaching out to you all throughout northeastern ohio so up next Check your email and also, if you click the link below, you'll be able to schedule an appointment to have me come out to your home, give you an estimated value of your home, how soon we can get this sold, or how slow you want to get it sold so you can be ready to move into your next home. I'm a listing agent and a buyer's agent, so don't forget to reach out. Again, click the link below and we'll talk soon. That's the flow, you guys. We went from that post, which would have been an ad, right? Which is what I'm encouraging you guys to do as an ad, to clicking, coming to the landing page, right? Simple landing page, them opting in, landing on a second page, seeing her on video, telling them to schedule a call. That's it. That's it. So so, so if you guys are going to continue to post organically, because God knows you guys are going to keep posting to your 3,700 friends that all live across the country, at least provide the link. At least start creating these basic landing pages. See all they're doing. List with Laurel. So this is this is list with Laurel. So as I click, as I click, look at the link. This link is hers, right? That link is hers. So shout out to 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 Laurel. That link is hers. So so she's over here promoting this. And as I click, she can chat, which is awesome, right? This is more like it, you guys. This is this is what I'll see one percent of the time. But but also the the mistake that 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 I see here is the fact that she gave me all this information before she asked for mine, right? So so as you look at this page, this page is basic. There's not much there. A few bullet points. Maybe I'll put all that in the text of of the post or whatever. But but a few bullet points and having them opt in. I don't want to give them all that information right here and there, unless you guys do. But but you want to tease them a bit, right? You want to tease them a little bit. You want to get you want to you want to you want to for sure capture the lead. And if you're running it as an as an ad, these would all be be local leads, right? So so shout out to shout out to Laurel. She still got the right the right idea. Um, but but with the more the more the more information up front, the 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 lower lead count you'll end up receiving because you're just giving up all the information when you should just be teasing them a little bit um just to at least get them in your pipeline and you just feed them more listings after that right it's all about capturing the lead you guys so that's what i want to show you with a two-page funnel that i truly believe every single p business owner and, and especially real estate agent every single person misses when it comes to capturing leads on social media so reach out you guys if you need any help with any of that and i'll see you guys in the next video over now